And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Azorius Skies in Best of One. That's right, we were playing some Best of One today to prepare for the win every card challenge that's happening this weekend on Magic Arena, October 5th through October 8th, where you get to play one deck, one chance, um, with any cards that you want. You don't have to be restricted to just the cards in your collection. For this event, they will allow you to use any cards at all um, in standard, in best of one standard. And you play until you either win 12 matches or lose two matches, whichever happens first. So you're going to have to have a whole lot of good variants to be able to go 12-1 and one and, and get to the 12-win plateau. A lot of good things are going to have, have to happen for you. But if that happens, you get to 12 wins, then you win one copy of every single card in Arena. They'll put that into your account. So that's the challenge this weekend. You only get the one shot. It's free, though, so it's, it's just a cool little event you know, to try. Um, so what we're doing here is I'll put together five decks to try out. As you can see, they're all on the aggressive side. I guess besides Simic Flash is, is a tempo deck. You know, it's, <clears throat> it's more aggressive than a lot of people realize. But these are all decks that are going to do well. Um, they're proactive. They're going to do well no matter what you're playing against. You know, you can play against 12 different opponents, but these decks can still be successful no matter what you're playing against. Like with counter spells for Simic Flash, it, do, you know, it doesn't matter what your opponent's playing. They're going to play spells that you can counter and everything like that. All right, so this specific deck here is Azoria Skies. This one here is a little bit more high variance than some of the others. Um, we have a whole lot of one drops, one mana flyers. That's what our deck's about. We're trying to play a whole lot of one mana flyers. And then if we have four of them, we can tap the four one mana flyers and pay one mana and get Safara into play. So that's that's one really strong thing. And Safara is pretty strong in this format with people not really having a whole lot of uh, removal because everybody's being kind of proactive for the most part. However, one thing, one card that matches up so well against Safara that's in the format that a lot of people play is Oko. Oko is just incredibly good, <clears throat> and Oko can turn Safara into an elk, and that makes that really, really rough. Anyway, besides that, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, besides that, a card that I'm pretty excited about for this deck, like this deck, like the two, like the thing is, there's a lot of one mana flyers, but there's like really not very good two ma two mana flyers. But Throne of Eldraine gave us a new good two mana flyer in Hushbringer, just being a two mana one two flying lifelink. That lifelink's important, and having the creatures that enter the battlefield or die either way don't cause abilities to trigger. So all of like your Risen Reef type cards, um, any any creature with ETB effects, you know, like Wicked Wolf, even uh, Gilded Goose, doesn't make um, you know doesn't make a food. Um, a lot of a lot of green creatures have ETB effects, and so you don't call, like any of those don't cause um, anything to trigger. So I'm, I want to try out the Hushbringers here. Now, Hushbringer doesn't um, it's not perfect in the deck because it does does hurt our deck a little bit as well. It makes Hanged Executioner a whole lot worse. So that's why I'm only playing the one Hanged Executioner, and instead uh, we're playing some Brazen Borrowers also, which I was really really impressed with Brazen Borrower in the Simic deck. Um, and yeah, it stops hen yeah, it stops the great henge triggers as well. Yep, yep. So yeah, I'm excited about the, the brazen borrowers here, and it does stop our fa fairy miscreants if that becomes a thing. So we'll see. But I like it. It's a one one two flyer with lifelink. Um, lifelink can definitely be important with winning races because that's what this deck's all about. Um, besides, if we're not going with Safara, we just want to play a lot of flyers and kill our opponent before they kill us with the help of Imperion Eagle that uh, gives our creatures plus one plus one to help us win in the air and then of course rally of wings is really really powerful um, as far as the pump spell goes giving all of our creatures plus two plus two and then tapping them if we need to block but we should hopefully win some races with that so that's kind of the goal of our deck the reason i'm saying this deck is a little bit more high variance is because our mana is is not so great we got the tranquil coves in here um, so sometimes our mana will work out sometimes it won't um, 
as far as having stuff come into play tapped and everything like that. But then sometimes you just have like four lands and then three one mana creatures and the deck doesn't really do very much. You know, we have a few really powerful cards with Rally of Wings and Pyrion Eagle, even Brazen Borrower is kind of there too, Safara for sure. Um, but you know, if we, we don't have our powerful stuff, if we just have like some lands and one ones, um, our deck's going to look worse. But, um, when, when we do, when we have, you know, like three or four, one, one mana flyers and we have rally of wings, this deck outraces anything else in the format. So, um, so like if, if you need a deck to, like a high variance deck that or just like a deck that has a high power level deck that if things go right is going to beat anything in the format maybe azorius skies could be the deck that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking here we'll go ahead and and uh, play the games though we'll see how it works out see how it feels but that's what i'm kind of feeling like it it could be a it could be a deck that has um that high upside that's what I was. That's where I was looking for that high upside. But the games that you usually usually when you lose with this deck, the deck looks really bad when you lose. So you can't be scared to have your deck look bad. Did that ginger brute say we? I think it did. Hey, what's up, Tree Fitty? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. All right, so do I trade here? I think the answer is no. Because basically against against the Cavalcade deck, if we get Safara in play, we win. So that's my goal. We need to draw another white source here. We need to draw really draw any land now to kill the Chandra, but we need to draw a land. A land. Ugh. Okay. Thankfully, Chain Whirler is not a card anymore. Which I guess it, it is possible that maybe my opponent can kill me this next turn, even if we play a Safara because of these unblockable things and the cavalcade triggers. Get em, buddies. But I I can also just go Eagle. Four. I may have to just go Eagle this turn to double up these healer talks. That was perfect. Draw on the land. Two, four, six. So now it's either it's either pay the four and play Safara. Or just attack for six. Uh no, we'll just play Safara. They have to kill me this turn, and they have to spend mana to make these things unblockable. That's six damage. But then they got so they got one extra mana. So if the last card shock, I'm dead. Anyone 
need a fire started? No? Too bad. It usually takes like 45 minutes to get up on YouTube, usually, but these videos are a little shorter, and honestly, it's it's pretty close to getting up on YouTube. And then Safara Lifelink wins that game for us. So yeah, drawing that land... Quite nice. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The oh yeah, the the lifelink from the healer's hawks. That's that's honestly what won us that game. I no, I played Safara the the first turn that I could play it. The first turn I had four creatures and white mana, as far as I know. Unless unless I didn't, unless I played the 1-1 one -one instead, the little birdie. Okay, so I could have played it the turn before with the land drawn from Sprite, but I attacked. Okay, but I went and I attacked first, though. Is that what I did? I don't remember. No, I've not played Esper Stacks. What? Why don't they attack with the Dreadhorde Butcher? I don't understand. Rally of Wings is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Rally of Wings just kills people so I'm fast. Mysterious. Refined. A far better dresser than you. <laughs> I just wanted to play the Safara also. Yeah, we had Lethal at the Rally, but it just showed that we could play the Safara as well. Um So yeah, like that's that's what I'm talking about. This is the kind of deck the upside with this deck is is incredible. Whenever whenever you get your hands like that, they just play, you know, one drop, double one drop, you know, another two creatures there, then boom, they're dead on turn four. Yeah, that was a turn four kill. Uh, Rally of Wings kills a lot faster than just playing regular old two ones and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is a high, it's definitely a high variance deck here. But when things work, things really work. All right, so we got one, we got triple one drop. We're gonna need another creature to turn on Safara. If I if I lead here with Fairy Miscreant, then my opponent has more information when they Sphinx of Foresight. So I, that's why I just played the island. 
and just held up the spectral sailor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to high roll quite a bit to to win twelve out of thirteen matches anyway. So a deck like this could be a good choice. Wow. Mystical Dispute. Wow. Yeah, exclamation point deck always gets you to the deck list. So this looks like Simic Flash. If we had Hushbringer, Hushbringer doesn't stop. It stops Frilled Mystic, but it doesn't stop um, the Pirate Merfolk. Hmm. The other two games, we hit our land drops. This game, we did not hit our land drops. And... With the interaction they have, these two Safaras are just dead cards in our hand. So having the two Safaras here, really we're playing on a five card hand. Don't mind the Hushbringer getting countered too much because we had the Hanged Executioner anyway. But, all right, no Frilled Mystic. I was kind of thinking they were going to have Frilled Mystic there. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that, Ray Day. You got smashed by it. But, yeah, that's that's pretty awesome, though, playing against your own deck. That's really cool. Oh yeah, Ambusher is definitely going to take over this game. Same with Sphinx of Foresight. The Simic Flash deck's pretty good. And it's very good at beating two lands. It's very good at beating two lands. Hmm. I guess if they don't actually have another counter spell, maybe we can land Safara. <laughs> yeah, Drown in the Lock is good. They scry to the top, so I kind of assume that they have another um, counter spell, honestly.
All right, so we're going to end step bounce this Sphinx in response to this trigger. So if they, if they do counter this, it's like they don't get to replay the Sphinx. If they counter this, then uh, they don't get the Wolf. Darn. My hope was playing that and then ripping the ripping Rally of Wings. That was my hope. Well, I guess all we got now is them not having a counter spell, I guess. I guess that's all I got now. Darn. <clears throat> yeah, Safara would have saved us. Cause Safara again makes my other creatures indestructible, so I was so I get to block with Um I get to block with Hushbringer also and and it's indestructible. Um and so you know we get another life linker there. But yeah, with them keeping that card on top, this thing is probably a counter spell, so you know, maybe if I bounce, you know, maybe they would have countered that. They didn't. And then, I was hoping maybe their last card wasn't counter spell, but it was. I don't know. Yeah, the the mystical dispute got us pretty good. Um, you know, turn one countering my blue spell there. I guess there's just a lot of blue in the format. I guess, but or they just wanted. I don't know. I, you know, if we didn't have it in our Simic Flash deck, and I don't think I really wanted it. Yeah, maybe, maybe Matthew. Yeah, I always got a couple of tough games here in Michigan. They're they're not going to be favored at all there. And then uh, against Penn State, I think after that they're playing two ranked teams here back to back. Yeah, Hawkeye is, uh, he's behind the corner of the table. He's on the couch back there. He's right there, laying down. Yeah, Michigan's not, Michigan's not bad. They're, it's like their game plan is bad. It's like they don't, they don't have bad players. They, their players don't do anything. Their coaches who like Harbaugh, is that right? What's up, Yager? No, oh. you're great. Happy to have you. Oh, I know, Paul. That was rough. 32 point lead in the third to UCLA. That was crazy. I don't know why I'm playing that right there. I should wait till end step. Never punished. Yorvo. <clears throat> Yorvo.
Well, if we draw a land, it's lethal. Gross. Nature will take Not anymore. Back what rightfully belongs to it. We're gonna tear you apart. Dang, would have been lethal. So let's see, it's it's two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. I'll return with larger predators. Um, it would do less well in best of three. Uh, I guess, you know, people, in games two and three, they get more, you know, bring in more re removal and everything. This deck doesn't have a great sideboard. Um, I think it's a better best of one deck than best of three deck. I watched Fort the other day, and I loved the part where the team I favor scored more points than the team I dislike. No, wasn't that great? I enjoyed that part, too. Alright, they're dead. GG. Do you think they're expecting to die here at 14? This is lethal, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, we have 15. They probably weren't expecting to die from 14 whenever I had just two 1-1s one in play. They're like, all right, pass the turn. All right, your turn. You have two 1-1s. One I'm at 14. That sounds good. Your turn. <clears throat> I don't think Beast gives Yorvo an extra counter because Yorvo says you put the counter on Yorvo. Then if that other creature's power is still greater, then you put an additional. So Yorvo is a 4-4. You play Beast as a 5-5. You put the one counter on. So then they're both five fives, and then five, five is not bigger than five, so you don't get an additional counter. Um, basically, can I can I do this gift of the face stuff, or nah? All right, so McFlash, this was our loss, our previous game. I think they want to play Night Pack Ambusher. This isn't lethal, but I'm going to do this so they don't. They have to counter this. They don't get to play the Ambusher.
minutes. There's Ambusher. I don't quite have lethal. We're, we got six points here. They're at seven. That's going to be difficult for them to get there from here. Man, that Rally of Wings card. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I have not combined your rock with the Great Henge yet. No. That sounds like a cool combination. Alright, 4 and 1. <laughs> uh. Our deck list should be right there. Should be. Maybe. Okay, we'll keep. So we have we have two white creatures, one blue creature. We probably want to lead with the white creature where we can next turn double spell. You know, because you want to you want to try to set up like you want to lead with turn one where you can make sure you can double spell on turn two. Um, we'll go with you. And this works now. Next turn, I can. You know, I get to go Sailor Safara next turn. If they don't have removal, if they just play like a cavalcade, we just have turn three Safara on the play. Yeah, 4 1 equals 12 for 12 1. Confirmed. Yeah, like these are these are decks that I want to play to give give people some you know, a lot of people have been asking for like different decks to play during the event, so I wanted to give people some options here. Rugged Highlands. So, do they got any green cards to deal with this? Beast within? It's not in standard. Plummet. Seven seven flying lifelink. Other creatures you control with flying. Oh no, war boss! You're forced to attack. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, Collision, Collision Colossus could almost get you there, like Collision Shock. Okay, there you go, Lou. You're going with Rakdos Aggro. Nice. So yeah, you can't wait for the event to start. How do you rank the one mana flying drop so far? Which one do you like better? Um, they're all like pretty decent. Um, I'm I really I I've been impressed with this guide mother. I'm glad I'm glad we got the guide mother as a as another one drop. I had Terramander in the deck um, before. And I think Guide Mother is an upgrade over Terramander. 
Um, Healer's Hawk and Spectral Sailor are probably the two best. Especially Healer's Hawk with that lifelink. That's cool. Victory! Five and one. <clears throat> yeah, don't even care. I was going to take it, yeah. You're trying to Esper stacks, so it's only good if you get Doom Foretold early. Yeah, Doom Foretold is quite powerful with that. What are you doing, Hawkeye? Okay. You done with your nap? Hmm. So the, the Hushbringer hanged Executioner combo is not much of a combo. I'm keeping the one drops. I'm keeping Tranquil Cove Island. So it's either Island Hushbringer or Hanged Executioner. Um, I'll go with the Hushbringer here. With their <clears throat> with our lack of resources. Yeah, factory, you can. Well, land four and land five is pretty bad. But this is exactly what I was talking about earlier with this deck. Um, the games we lose with this deck, our deck looks pretty bad. Now, we could just top deck Safara, and we could play, you know, Sailor Safara. So, like, we, we have a shot here. We need to top deck Safara. I don't think I can possibly win this, right? I don't think there's anything I can do now. Your attack damage first. I mean, I guess rally, you know, that gets rid of that thing. Maybe rally of wings on defense next turn. If we can take out like three two power things. Hmm. 
That made life worse. Okay. So sometimes you draw over a third of your lands. And that happens. But yeah, our, I'd have to say our deck worked pretty well overall there. You know, 5-2. Um, it's going to be tough getting the 12 wins in a row. You're going to have to have a lot of good uh, variants. You can't have... You know, hand like that last one, like Mulligan, um, to keep three lands, and then your first two draw steps are land land. This is a 20 land deck. There are not very many lands in here. This really can't have you keep three land and then draw land land right away. And it's okay to keep three land because you, you this deck does want three lands, but it wants basically exactly three lands. It doesn't really want a fourth land. Um, but we had Hanged Executioner in hand, so keeping the three lands made sense. But when you don't have no Rally of the Wings, no Imperion Eagle, no Safara, the deck's going to look kind of weak there. But but yeah, our deck kind of did its thing. When when this deck, you know, when you have your Rally of Wings and stuff, you outrace everybody. Um, you know, like, so if you want a a really high upside deck that uh, when your draws work well you're going to beat your opponent's draws that work well you know like if you want you know your a draws to beat your opponent's a draws this deck can do that um we never really dovin's vetoed anything i don't think i don't think we really ever dovin's vetoed anything um i could definitely see taking out the two dovin's vetoes for a second executioner and a and a, like a fourth safari if you expect a lot of red like that i could definitely see doing that um, Executioner is better now with the no chain whirler. That's certainly a thing that makes Executioner better than it was before. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's Azorius Skies. Pretty cool. All right, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe buttons over there, and leave comments, please. Uh, let me know, uh, you know, what you think of these decks. Um, you know, what are you excited to play about? play sorry play in the win any deck challenge what deck are you excited to play um and all that kind of stuff so thank you so much for watching some azorius guys though and i'll see you for the next video